Welcome to the helm of this Maxim 4100 SCA. Uh, right now I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of the startup procedures to these Cummins diesels. Um, I'm going to approach the helm here and you'll notice that I've had my blower switch running uh, for about the last 20 minutes. You really want to make sure that you run that blower um, before you start the engines every single time. Um, now, now these engines are diesels, um, so what you're going to want to do is turn the keys um, and, and run the, the heating grids for about 20 to 30 seconds. Each, each engine has a preheat indicator light that will light up when I turn the key. Uh, the proper procedure to do this is to turn both keys on simultaneously and then start the engines individually after those lights are extinguished. So I'm going to do that right now. So you'll see those lights have now extinguished. I'm going to go ahead and start the starboard side. You can hear the starboard side fire up. I'm going to now go to the port side. And the port side is now running. Uh, now the, the alarms have turned off. Uh, the keys are on the ignition on position and there's no alarms. So th those alarms uh, should only go off during starting and if there's a, an oil pressure issue somewhere down the line. Each of these engines idle at about six to 700 RPMs um, when you're sitting here at the dock. And that's the starting procedure for the Cummins diesels aboard the Maxim 4100 SCA. Um, I got a nice view here. Um, another thing I like about this boat um, is the bow thrusters, uh, which, which are, uh, I'm showing in this video because it's another part of the power port and starboard little toggle switch can can make your bow go uh, to the left to bring it over to the right helps for maneuvering around those tight spaces um, and, and that's the startup procedure here on the Maxim 4100 SCA